हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू द ऑनलाइन वीडियो कोर्स सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग डिजाइन एंड डेवलप बाय सिनेकिस एक्विलन सॉल्यूशन आई होप यू आर वेल अवेयर अबाउट द कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग थिंग एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज सी प्लस प्लस व्हाट आर द कंटेंट्स एंड हाउ सिनेकिस एक्विलन सोल्यूशन इज प्रोवाइडिंग दिस कोर्स एज एन ऑनलाइन वीडियो कोर्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द कंटेंट ऑफ द course c++ programming so let's begin with the syllabus this particular point okay look i have the main thing i have mentioned here is a c++ 11 standard previously the c whatever we were learning that standard was c++ 98 and in current scenario we have to learn we have to go through c++ standard C++ 11 standard thing and what is actually C++ 98, C++ 11 or C++ 17, C++ 20 which is going to come in the next year in a few, few next years that we are going to study that we are going to discuss in detail in our next video but keep this thing aside and let's focus on what are the contents present in this C++ programming course. This particular course is having total 15 chapters. So first look, look at here, just go through it, getting started, then variables, strings, these all are basics topics of C++. Then we have the library things or the library functions given by the C++ API that is IO library then sequential containers, generic algorithms, dynamic memory, etc. And next thing is the OOP feature, object oriented programming feature by the C++. As we know, C++ is object oriented programming language. So those features are included as the third part of the content like copy control, overloaded operations, then object oriented programming view like virtual functions, derived classes, base classes, constructor, etc. And the last one is templates and generic programming. So here how uh, you, you have now found out how the course contents are designed. So I will show you or I will discuss with you the points in detail but this is an overview. If I said the first part here, the course content are divided into three different parts. The first part tells you about the basics of the programming in C++. Then secondly, we have the library functions or the reset of API given by the C++. That set we are, we are going to discuss, we are going to learn. And the third part in which the tools or the features given by the OOP are going to be implemented. Well, this is what about C++ programming content. But if I, if I see some new features are added in C++ 11, what are those features that I need to check? But before that, I hope or I am thinking, why not to, why not to talk with the syllabus content in detail? Look, in getting started, the writing a C++ program, we, are, we will start from this topic, then how to put comment, how to uh, accept input, how to display the output, what are the functions given by it, then flow control, you might have learned in a C language like while, for, then if, break, etc. Now here the introductory part of the class definition is given. This is what about the first chapter. Now the second chapter contains again the basic thing the variables and different types. Here we are going to learn built-in data types, different constant qualifiers, different uh, other types of aliases, etc. Now the main thing or the new point introduced here is the constant qualifier and the constant expressions. This is the C++ 11 feature we are going to learn. One more thing, auto type specifier and declare type specifier. It is also a part of C++ 11. Well, let's move to the third chapter. It is related to string vector array. Here, the namespace using declaration is very important part. 
then we are we are going to learn the string library functions similar to the string we will focus on the vectors and the iterators this is a new topic we are going to learn along with the iterators we, we are going to discuss the arrays how to manipulate the arrays and even multi-dimensional arrays the fourth chapter contains the expression and different operators we will learn different types of operators like arithmetic, logical, relational, assignment, increment, decrement and so on. The way you might have learned in a C language. And if you have not learned C and directly jumped to the C++, not to worry. We are going to learn all the things from the scratch. So even though I am giving a reference of C language, you those who have not familiar with the C, they, are, they can learn all this stuff very easily. It's for sure. Okay, the next chapter that is fifth one is related to the statement. So there are different types of statements like simple statement, conditional statement, iterative statement. Yes, and in this part, the range for the statement, this topic is introduced in a C++ 11 standard. Okay, some jump statements like break, continue, different try blocks and exception handling. Again, very important topic where if any error occurs and our program gets terminated abruptly, we have to handle those errors and exception. So that concept is exception handling. We will learn this thing in detail and implement different programs throughout the training. The next is function. Function basic, defining the function, then passing the argument, then command line argument, passing parameters to the main function, returning from returning value from the main function, overloaded, overrided, main uh, overloading and overriding functions, etc. And then again pointers to the function. Many variations are there. We will learn in detail, no doubt. The last topic from the part one, the basics of programming is the classes and here we are going to define class, class members, then copy constructor, encapsulation feature, frame function, this pointer, different class type, scope and we are we will be ending with the this first part by static class member. Here we are going to follow the thing like every once we finish with the every chapter then you have to go through the test then nodes are there, then assignments are there. These tests are the multiple choice question test. I, I will show you the demonstration on my website. The second part includes the library function, the reset of, reset of API given by the C++. It is very, uh, it's a new feature. Few things are available previously, but most of the things are newly added. Here, do you know, C++ now is used for system programming which is, uh, that is at raw level, low level API programming is now possible with the help of C++ 11 standard which was not there previously. Look, IO library which is for input output management, operation management, file input output, then string streams, it's a new feature. Ninth chapter is about sequential container, mainly iterators, then sequential container operators, operations, and container adapters. Next, next topic talks on generic algorithms. It's again very important and the new features are lambda expressions. Okay, and okay, so the here we find how to write an algorithm and different read write containers the next part of this or the last part of this uh, last chapter of this part is dynamic memory and the important point here is smart pointers all these are newly added features shared ptr then unique ptr weak ptr etc as a part as a types of smart pointers then dynamically allocation of the arrays and their manipulation here after 12th chapter, now OOP features and the tools are implemented like copy control, copy constructor, then destructor, the swap operation, 
resource management like that the next chapter is about overloaded operations and convergence like overloading operators then assignments next is by using function call by using lambda features assignment operator convergence like that the fifth second last chapter is about object oriented programming feature like defining base class derive class virtual functions virtual descriptors synthesizers container inheritance like that and the last topic or the last chapter of this content is the templates and the generic programming so here we are going to define templates how to add a class template then deduction of the template overloading and uh, veridic templates is a very important topic and the last is the template special specialization so with the help of template we will go for generic style of programming in c++ rather than focusing on rather than sticking to the built in data types we can make it more general by providing the template this is what about the content or, or the syllabi of c++ 11 programming language so at the same time i have shown you what are the new features but if i put a look on if i focus a look on what are different c++ 11 features are available this is the list like null pointer literal range for the statement which was not there in a previous c++ syllabus which for which followed c++ 98 standard the next page equal to sign const expression then lambda expression smart pointers as i said previously delegating constructor weak pointers r value reference template aliases like that veridic templates so and again the cast static cast is also a uh, important topic from l value to r value so these or different i have not included all the uh, topics but very few which are important and we will be focus on that those topics these topics i have included here as a c++ features i hope the content and the features of c++ 11 standard is uh, is known to you now without keeping you a more ambiguous in the ambiguous format or uh, what we can say uh, i cannot stretch your interest in or what is c++ 11 in that question so let me tell you in a simple line no doubt we will discuss this topic in next video look the standardization of c++ language or the new in the new format is done in the year of 2011 and this 11 is nothing but the year on in which standardization of c++ language is done previously it was done in 1998 so the name given as c++ 98 according to the year in which standardization is done and here now c++ is standardized newly in the year 2011 so the programming language name is c++ 11 let's see so what is the different new features we have seen right now let me tell you the next topic that are the course features look at here in throughout this course while we are going to learn 15 different chapters we will be implementing more than 100 programs as a part of topic discussion in your course if you are learning this c++ as a programming language the assignments given as a part of your curriculum are also being implemented wait a minute yeah yes a part of those assignments are also implemented in our video course the most important point is the tests every chapter is followed by multiple choice questions so you will analyze yourself the things that you have understood the next point or the next feature of our course is hands on based training every program is explained line by line and it is typed in front of you people only if you follow the video from scratch to the end and if at the same time if you type the program at your end definitely you will understand thoroughly 
and such a hands-on uh, based training approach is used here. Industrial approach or the touch of the industrial style of coding is also given and its implementation is towards the project so that you will get an idea how the projects or the work style is implemented in the industry. So that structure, for example, putting an indentation, writing the comments and how to define our program or assignments in a different module, what is the design criteria. So everything is being discussed in this course. Okay, not now. Actually, I wanted to show you how the contents are spread over and how you as a student or a candidate have to access those contents. So let me move to my website called as cinecasaquilum.com. This is the landing page. You will find different tabs over here. Actually, I have logged in right now by using one user. You, in order to access all the free contents, you have to create account first. It's just specifying your email ID and password. You will see here n number of courses. More than 40 courses are available in, in our website. Like, look, C programming, Unix internal, networking basics, Linux system programming. And let's move to the C++ programming. Yeah, it is there. So like, uh, let me show you all the pages in a short. Yes, and many more are coming. So let us move to the C++ programming. Here, you will find the details about the course. Click here, fine. Look, this is the course description. These are the contents. And if we move to the content, then Actually, I have logged in previously. That's why it is showing you the resume course. Otherwise, it will show you the free, free content. So if I click here, then it will, uh, or uh, we can, we directly go to the course player. Here you will find all the chapters and the content. Look, the same PDF file I have shown you previously, right? These are the contents. Okay, let me show you the all the things related to my new course. This is the first contents of the first chapter. Then look here, it's test, assignment, notes, lesson one, lesson two are present here. If I click here, then you have to follow all the questions one, of, one by one. Then assignments are there, so you have to implement those assignments and submit it. No doubt, the implementation or the solution of the assignment is also made available on the website, but after some time, one you need to submit it first and then the solution is made available. So the notes of every chapter is also given or it is uploaded. You can download it or you can learn, learn all these things and this is what the videos so look these are the videos here you can see all these things and you can run from here itself okay so this is what about the content of the website i hope you have understood all these things in detail and you are now eager to join this course and learn all the learn these things uh, and learn these things with a uh, great interest Thank you. See you again. Bye.